Blue Cross Blue Shield will now pay for a potentially life-changing procedure. Fox 17 questioned the company back in October. Problem solver Darren Cunningham continues to follow up on this. He is live now in the studio with his happy ending. Darren. Good evening. Back in October, Blue Cross told me Lori Mills is free to appeal their decision, something she had already done. The dental hygienist suffers from a condition that forced her to stop working. She's now depending on a potentially life-changing procedure for a cure. Despite her insurance company not wanting to pay, I'm happy to report things have changed. Last Friday on January 2nd, I um, opened the best piece of mail I think I ever opened in my life. And inside that envelope, the answer Lori Mills has been praying for for months. It came in this one-page letter from Blue Cross Blue Shield. They approved me for the stem cell transplant and... I know it's going to be a shot at a whole new life for me. Mill suffers from a debilitating condition I'll explain in a minute. Blue Cross will now pay for a procedure doctors told her could be the cure. But getting an approval wasn't easy. In fact, the company initially denied coverage. I know that because of our previous interview, it really helped get this approval letter because whenever I called, they talked about it. In October 2014, I sat down with Mills at her home in Greenville. She shared her struggles and daily challenges with chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, or CIDP, an autoimmune disease. Her body's immune system attacks her nerves, impairing her movement. I had no strength in my legs or my arms. Everything was really heavy. It was like really heavy to pick up a gallon of milk. Um, I had a hard time walking up steps. Um, I'd lose my balance and run into the wall all the time. Without the stem cell transplant, the wife and mother of three has depended on a treatment called IVIG and steroids. Every nine days, a nurse comes to her home to administer them. Blue Cross pays for that, about fifteen dollars to $30,000 per treatment, she says. Last summer, Northwestern University told her a stem cell transplant may be the cure. It's expensive. Usually one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars. Not only may it help her, Mills reasoned it would save Blue Cross hundreds of thousands of dollars in the long run, but their denial letter last summer stated their policies only cover stem cell transplants for cancer patients. They said her case would be a clinical trial, which they don't cover. And a lot of people have fought for years and they've never got approved. She's glad they changed their tune. Remarkably, the new letter says her policy now covers the treatment. Yet, at the same time, it states that this approval, quote, should not be considered precedent setting. I'll get that shot again and, you know, just to be the mom and not so tired all the time and be able to go back to work and just be the wife I need to be and everything. I'm just excited for the whole new shot at life, like I said. It's, I couldn't ask for more. And to anyone else in Mill's shoes, she says, never give up. Just a shocking, shockingly high amount of money that we're talking about. So yeah. what's next for them? Well, the uh, plan now is they're waiting for a call from the doctors in uh, Chicago, Northwestern University. Then they plan to travel to Chicago, her and her family, uh, for the stem cell transplant. So she believes that'll be about a two-month process, including chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're using stem cells. They're using her stem cells, her own stem cells. Her for own, the okay. Oh, so, good. Great news. Can't Great wait news. to see that follow-up yes. and see how she's yes. doing.